Hi, I'm Silvio. You are about to watch the detailed tutorial on how I made my street lamps for this year Christmas Village. Four days ago, Kevin Davidson posted a public comment asking for it. And as this channel mainly exists to bring help to whoever needs it, here I am with the tutorial. Without counting that in part 12 of the full tutorial series, I've shown you the entire procedure at maximum speed, making it impossible to grasp every detail. My bad. I filmed a new introduction, then I will comment the original footage at normal speed. Thanks again to Kevin Davidson and if someone else needs help for something in particular, please just ask in the comments without hesitation. Welcome guys, the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you precisely how to transform this little very short totally plastic street lamp into this taller hybrid street lamp hybrid simply because it is composed of plastic aluminium and steel there uh, and you will uh, see me using uh, essentially a rotatory tool or dremel if you prefer to cut and file everything then my soldering station uh, for what concern the uh, wiring and the hot, uh, hot glue gun to assemble uh, everything. The dimension. The dimension of the little guy here is no more than 8 cm or 3.15 inches if you prefer from base to top here. Totally useless for uh, uh, Christmas villages simply because it has uh, these 8 cm uh, means that it is no more than a few millimeters higher than uh, figuring. The final result is a taller um, street lamp uh, with an height of 13 cm or 5.11 inches from base to top here. Where uh, do we start? We start from this little guy here and the first step is to try to disassemble it without ruining it so I will use my Dremel to cut the cap here and remove the cap the final result of this first step is there with the cap removed the inside the transparent plastic simulating the uh, glass removed and the base with the pole here uh, we have finally it and no more can be disassembled without ruining everything then then you need to measure 3.5 centimeters or 1.38 inches starting from this point here so the white mark here is at 3.5 uh, centimeters 1.38 inches from this point here why simply because you need to cut it there where I've marked it with white uh, then uh, the two separated uh, pieces of plastic will be inserted in each side of an aluminium pipe to get it taller how do you cut it? you can simply cut it using your rotatory tool and cut it around or you can use your uh, auto wire uh, cutting tool if you have one or a uh, hot wire table as mine uh, because uh, the plastic is uh, thicker and uh, more resistant than a styrofoam but it can easily be cut with a uh, uh, hot wire uh, tool the result the result is this stage here if I approach the camera you can appreciate that I've yes cut it but I've also filed the pole, the main pole here, because otherwise it won't uh, fit inside the aluminium pipe. By the way, all uh, the, the uh, things that you can find easily everywhere, I will surely not put a link down below. I will put a link for uh, the, mm, the street lamp here, from the for the wires, for 
the uh, T connector and the LED, but uh, surely not for this guy here, the uh, aluminum pipe. You can see that it is a pipe there. It has a diameter of uh, 8 millimeters, 0 0.8 centimeters, or 0 0.31. Uh, inches and it can easily found uh, in every uh, hardware store or wherever you buy uh, such things in your uh, country then you need to cut uh, pieces of uh, 8 centimeters or 3.15 uh, inches in, of pipe then you take uh, the pipe and you take each both of pieces of uh, um, of uh, the original street lamp and you insert them uh, one uh, in each side of the uh, street lamp then then you simply need to glue the three parts together and the first uh, step is accomplished now now you need to transform it into a real street lamp so you need some uh, lamp some uh, uh, il, uh, s uh, some uh, um, source of uh, illumination. I generally use LED. I generally use 3 volt LED. I generally use 3 volt LED round LED having a diameter of 5 millimeters. And you will find them also in millimeters uh, uh, even if you are you in US or UK because generally uh, they are um, the diameter is measured in millimeters for uh, uh, LED two kind of uh, um, of uh, LED I have here one is uh, totally bright totally clear very bright very uh, cold light almost <laughs> 9000 Kelvin if I can make uh, the, um, the resemblance and then a foggy, um, street, uh, foggy LED ear. This ear I've used this kind of LED ear totally bright, totally plain white bright and uh, using this uh, little battery here, this 3 volt little battery, those uh, LED are also 3 volt LED. I will show you the difference between the two LED. Here we go. This one is uh, very bright, very clear. This one is foggy and the light projected is totally different. This one uh, will project much more further the light and this one is uh, uh, the range of the light projected is very near the um, the surface of the LED itself. By the way, the longest um, fit, because I call these uh, fit, the longest fit uh, is the positive pole and the shorter one is the negative pole, obviously. So I will use this uh, kind of LED and I will <laughs> uh, insert a link down below. Then for the uh, wiring, what I use, I use very thin cables, very thin wires. Generally, the um, dimension, the diameter of uh, this kind of wire is uh, measured in AWG. AWG is the uh, measure unit for this kind of uh, wire, such as uh, volt is uh, the unit measure for LED also ampere and ohm of resistance but the main uh, unit measure unit is volt for an LED and so uh, I will use this kind of uh, uh, wire these are uh, 24AWG wires I buy this on Amazon obviously and these two rockets are empty because I've used them for my uh, street uh, lamp of this year. They generally come in two, four, six different colors. I use uh, two different colors for each uh, street lamp, as you can see there. 
I uh, used red for positive and yellow for negative and then when they were finished I used white for negative and uh, green for positive and then I have also black and blue if I want. Why such um, dimension? Why, why 24AWG? Simply because this T connector there that I will use to connect each street lamp to the main power cable can um, use uh, wires from 20 to 24 AWG that means that inside it there you have holes to insert the cable to insert wires uh, uh, in a range starting from 20 to 24 AWG and this is the standard also for these uh, little T connector there, I will uh, put a link down below. The purpose of this uh, connector here is to connect each street lamp there to the main uh, power cable, to the main wire, to the main power supply. And also it is very useful because it's not uh, that you place it there and then you don't remove it anymore because if you open it, you can slide it wherever you want um, <clears throat> to the left, to the right because you will insert some uh, positive and negative cable wire there and then you can slide it wherever you want and then you clip the, uh, clip the wires closing it very, uh, very, very um, tight and this is uh, what I use uh, this ear and every time uh, I've used it from the starting, even from my for my previous model of street lamp. Those two um, plain steel washers, simply because the plastic ear is uh, the diameter is uh, too narrow and the uh, street lamp is uh, not enough heavy to support everything, so it will constantly uh, fall down if you don't add a uh, support. Uh, to the base there, so I use two um, two washers, two washers, and they have a um, diameter of three centimeters from there to there, or 1.18 uh, inches. And that's said. Uh, we need to talk about the uh, wiring. So inside the street lamp, you have this kind of wire very flexible you can see that it is very 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 flexible <clears throat> but for the main power uh, I mean for the cable for the wire that uh, will bring the power to each uh, street lamp I use this kind of uh, uh, wire also well suited for this uh, type of uh, T connector there I think it is uh, a 20 uh, AWG and I get them, I get couples of them because I will also use two different colors for positive and negative no matter if they aren't from the same color from this uh, cable here this is nothing as than an 8-way uh, cable uh, that I've stripped and uh, uh, I've uh, <laughs> I've salvaged the inside uh, wires there. Uh, I'm not. I don't know if I have eight ways here. I have two, four, six. No, two, four, six ways here. But uh, these kind of uh, um, single wires are inside these long and these uh, cable here. This eight-way cable you will find it uh, everywhere in uh, every in hardware stores tour or in any um, electronics uh, shop and that's all I think I've uh, detailed everything uh, and this is uh, all yes this is all now I will insert uh, my previous uh, footage but at a normal speed uh, showing you uh, detailed and I will comment everything a step by step so that's all see you next maybe bye so let's comment my original footage i will start with the aluminium pipe 
and for this example I will need two pieces of uh, aluminium pipe having a length of uh, uh, 8 centimeters or 3.15 inches so let's start by marking all around the perimeter of the pipe 8 centimeters here we go it's uh, just a long process but nothing very complicated once I've marked uh, all around the perimeter <laughs> I'm checking it because I don't rely on myself obviously so mm, let's uh, take uh, the Dremel let's uh, set it to full speed and let's start uh, um, cutting uh, all around the perimeter firstly very gentle because otherwise you risk to cut over or under the length and uh, it will easily slip over the cutting tool will slip over the right position but after the first gentle passage I will start uh, applying more strength to the cutting and it will be done easily I am not yet finished with the first perimeter just remember to protect your eyes and your nose in this case because uh, you will have plenty of aluminium powder all around and also your ears if you want because the Dremel is very loud I will leave you with some music but hey, the first cut is done checking it just carefully because the uh, piece will be hot very hot now second measuring also 8 centimeters very uh, simple here I promise to <laughs> comment everything at normal speed so it's a little tedious sometimes but uh, here we go with the second uh, cut same setup full speed and then let's start also here I'm using a magnifying glass and uh, a magnifying glass with uh, <laughs> very bright LED LED uh, on top of it but this is useless <laughs> for the tutorial <coughs> almost done uh, some more seconds <laughs> and I can assure you that right now the pipe is very hot <laughs> but I'm not using uh, gloves simply because I will lose some sensitivity and the cut uh, won't be as precise as I want it you may also have noticed some powder uh, in the shadow but it's normal when cutting something you remove some materials and that materials has to go somewhere I know I know it's tedious also I am a very maniac so I'm going very slow second piece of uh, pipe cut let's switch off the uh, Dremel let's check the two pieces almost uh, they have almost the same eight now it's time to change the tip I will replace uh, the uh, cutting tool with a uh, hard stone uh, roller simply because a normal uh, sandpaper roller will be ruined by the um, hardness of the aluminium but this uh, uh, hard stone roller is well suited to file the border of the aluminium pipe let's start with it at always at full speed and here I'm filing the borders I've just cut mm, 
Nothing difficult here too. The other side here. Well, let's just hope that the music in the background isn't too boring too. That's the reason why I've shown you all the process at full speed because sometimes it can be boring to see everything I'm doing. Second border here, no third border sorry here. Same thing as before. It's just a matter of precision. Strangely, I'm not uh, trembling too much. <laughs> My old hands are not uh, trembling too much. Checking out my own risk if the border is filed correctly. Risking to cut my thumb. Okay. I think the... Uh, ah yes, that's another silly thing I need to do. Remove from the inside of the uh, pipe some residual pieces of uh, aluminium. Because otherwise it will ruin the plastic of the pole I will insert in it. Let's change again the uh, tip of the two of the um, Dremel and let's have again the cutting tool there. It will be time to start disassembling the uh, plastic uh, mini street lamp and the first step is to remo remove the cap from it as I've shown you in my introduction. By the way, have you just noticed how much aluminium powder I have on the cutting mat right there? It's time to take two uh, plastic street lamp there and before starting uh, the cutting process I will need to mark the position of the cap there with there i marked the cap and referenced it with the side of the uh, street lamp uh, this is the only way i will be able to reposition it correctly uh, with the right angle uh, and i will do the same exact thing with the second street lamp obviously i will also need to number the inside of the cap and the inside of the base with the same number as it is essential to associate the right cap with the right base because not a single uh, cap is uh, similar to the previous one and cap and um, base and pole with base will not match otherwise let's uh, remove gently very gently the cap so now i'm not at full speed and it's essential to go at full speed to avoid the melting of the plastic you need to be quick precise and if the uh, rotatory tool if the uh, cutting tip is not at maximum speed it will only melt uh, a large part of the plastic without cutting it also it is uh, very important not to cut the inside transparent plastic otherwise it will ruin everything I just need to cut uh, all around the perimeter uh, and I'm going uh, very slowly there. Voila, the cap is removed and the inside the plastic came out by itself. Let's remove some plastic from the cutting mat 
and uh, now uh, let's proceed with the uh, second um, street lamp okay uh, yeah what I am doing here oh yes I'm preparing some other street uh, lamps because uh, I have cut uh, more than two uh, street lamps in a row but I <laughs> I'm showing you just two uh, street uh, lamps. Okay, this is the third one. <laughs> Sincerely, I can't remember why I've continued with the third street lamp and not got the second one. Uh, I'm crazy, I know, and you know already. So let's start again the Dremel at full speed and let's. Uh, Cut the, the second cap. I've just noticed that we are already at 26 minutes uh, deep into this tutorial, and I think it will be surely the longest video I will uh, post. But hey, I'm at normal speed. Almost done, all around the cap. Some more seconds, sorry. Checking if I can already remove the cap there. Sometimes uh, the assembling process has not been made the same way as the previous one and sometimes uh, you can have uh, some more uh, glue in some uh, points original glue I intend and uh, originally uh, it was used a uh, super glue to glue everything together it is taking uh, very long to remove this uh, second cup I'm reducing a little bit the uh, speed there. Sorry, very long process here. So maybe it's better if I skip some minutes ahead because the process is uh, very easy some minutes later I'm still there but the cap is almost uh, removed just uh, some more seconds and voila even the second cap is uh, removed and uh, that's all for the first step second step after a little bit of cleaning of uh, the surface of the cutting mat uh, it's time to uh, measure the 3.5 centimeters or 1.38 inches I've told you in the introduction and uh, I will uh, measure it uh, from the point I've shown you before so let's go with the 3.5 centimeters first mark there then I will uh, continue uh, all along the perimeter, uh, continuing in that point. Also another very easy task. And the first uh, street lamp is done. Now it's time for the second street lamp. time 3.5 centimeters 1.38 inches
Here we go. Let's bring again to the scene the Dremel with the cutting tip. Full speed also this time. Same problem, I don't want to melt the plastic. And firstly, first uh, I'm going very gentle because I don't want to cut my fingers. So <laughs> no, because I don't want to ruin the, the street lamp. This time it will be very quick. Done. First, done, second one. Thirty one minutes of tutorial, guys. Told you, very long tutorial at normal speed, obviously. Voila, remove this one to cut. Switch off the Dremel. Let's check. Obviously, some plastic has melted. You can't avoid it. Simply need to remove it. Now, once again, let's uh, replace the tip. And let's use again another roller. This time it's the sandpaper roller that I will use simply because I'm not. Uh, dealing with aluminium but with plastic and a simple uh, sandpaper will be enough uh, to file uh, the plastic border first maybe you are thinking why are you filing the borders <laughs> they will be inserted inside the aluminium pipe. Yes, but I'm maniac, you know. I also want them clean as much clean as I can <coughs> sorry <coughs> after that the very messy job will be file the pool it will bring to the cutting mat a large amount of plastic I could have done my nails too <laughs> while I was doing that. Joking, sorry. Checking if uh, one side is uh, fitted for the um, aluminum pipe, yes, but the other one is not fitted. As I told you, now I will file the pole there. Maximum speed, remember, always maximum speed. And the pole isn't uh, uh, round, it has a uh, hexagon form. But also uh, this step is very easy. Checking if it fits inside. Some more adjustments. 
because the diameter of the pool was uh, wider um, in proximity of the base than it was in proximity of the top. I think it will be enough this time. Let's check. Yes, it fits. No, I'm not satisfied yet. So let's go once again. Uh, have you realized to whom I'm related every day to a maniac? This time it will satisfy you, yes or no? No. Sometimes it's very difficult to live with myself and to deal with myself. Done. Okay, I think I will skip uh, the second street lamp simply because I don't want to uh, have this video three hours uh, long. Next step is the wiring and my zert and there will be very useful. Let's go and start uh, with the positive wire. I'm measuring uh, 20 centimeters of wire or 7.9 inches of wire. Just remember that uh, the, uh, to the street lamp will be uh, 13 centimeters high or 5.11 centimeters and I will need um, the wire coming out from that 8 so 20 centimeters 7.9 inches will be uh, enough now it's time to strip the wires I'm starting with the yellow one the negative one and I'm striping around some more than a centimeters around half an inch of uh, wire first tip is done now let's continue with the red one and by the way I just forgot to uh, my uh, magnifying glass so here we go with the magnifying glass same thing some more than a centimeter some more than half an inch strip it off <coughs> then let's switch on the soldering station and it will get very hot quickly now let's place uh, the wire into the third end right there I'm just waiting for the soldering iron to get hot enough. Here I get my rocket off thin. And let's go. I will apply a good amount of uh, thin uh, just on the wires. Simply because I don't want to ruin the LED. But now I'm applying a very good amount of thin done with the uh, red uh, wire with the positive wire same thing for the yellow one I generally don't apply uh, hot <laughs> thin to uh, electronics components so no um, thin at all on top of the um, LED uh, legs or feet if you prefer very quickly done even for the uh, second uh, wire there and I'm at the normal speed let's bring down some more the, um, the temperature of the soldering station now let's bring to the scene the LED 
here I have my packet of plain bright clear very powerful LED and as always uh, before <laughs> proceeding I will check if it's working correctly or if it's broken otherwise I will simply lose my time so my 3 volt battery and let's check if the LED is working yes it is uh, working correctly now uh, let's proceed Just wait for what I'm doing now. I'm preparing some more LED. Second LED because obviously I have two a street lamp to uh, prepare. Both street lamp, both uh, uh, LED there are working correctly. I will just show you uh, this step for the first uh, uh, street lamp uh, obviously otherwise it will be too long I generally start uh, with uh, the uh, longest leg the longest feet the positive one and I'm cutting it as short as possible because I don't uh, need it to be that long just uh, some millimeters left just uh, a quarter um, a quarter of an inch maybe less and here I will go with the red wire and by the way I also use a heat shrinking tube to protect the positive um, connection I don't want to have a short circuit so generally I also put a heat shrinking tube around the positive uh, wire I've also uh, shortened the, the uh, stripped part of the uh, wire there. So very quick with the soldering iron there because you risk to damage the LED. LED inside has some electronic, very very sensible electronic. Very quick. I'm trembling too much there but the temperature is not uh, hot enough. and also it's very difficult to uh, work in favor of the uh, camera but very quick I just need to re-heat the thin on the wire and in just some seconds it will be uh, done and there I'm checking if uh, it is correctly uh, soldered and it is 3 second max of uh, uh, heat around the uh, tin already on the wire. Now I'm. Uh, <coughs> I will uh, slip in the uh, it shrinking tube, the little piece of it shrinking tube, towards the final position there. and once it is positioned I will take the base of my soldering iron and I will shrink the tube there very quickly let's check if it is done, yes it is done let's shorten the negative leg, the negative foot there same process as before let's shorten also this uh, yellow, this negative wire there I'm just uh, waiting for the iron to get out enough I think the yellow one was short enough and just applying trembling guy trembling it 
it's not the correct position to work. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you <laughs> in front of the camera everything. I'm hiding everything now. Okay, I found the correct position. Two seconds max. Yes, already done there. Very quick, very easily done this time. Final check. Good enough. Let's take uh, the transparent uh, plastic there and please now observe uh, with attention what is happening because I'm not being too gentle with the cable now, right now and I'm pulling uh, too hard on the cables and that's what happened. The red uh, cable came out simply because I was trying to um, pull the wires too hard through the hole and those kind of uh, uh, soldering are not uh, suited for sports <laughs> and so the uh, red uh, wire came uh, off no panic there simply need to um, redo uh, the soldering once again I just applied another small amount of tin on the red wire there. S those sort of things happen when you aren't too careful on what you are doing. Another piece of uh, uh, each shrinking tube there. As I told you many, many times, I'm absolutely not perfect in anything. I know, I'm aware, I'm well satisfied with it. Don't think I'm perfect in what I'm uh, doing. Because I'm not. I'm human as everyone. So those sort of things may happen frequently. <clears throat> Let's uh, shrink the tube. And now let's <laughs> get the wires through the hole in the transparent plastic. This time, very gently, please. Okay. Almost 50 minutes of tutorial, guys. As deep as I can. Yes, pushing it. This time, not pulling. <laughs> now the difficult part. The whole uh, diameter in the top of the street uh, lamp piece there is smaller than the one on the white plastic I've just uh, um, done so what I'm missing there I'm missing my tweezers guy bring the tweezers you won't get it through without the tweezers so some pose there and here I'm back with the tweezers <coughs> And this time it will be easier to get through, even with the red wire there. Okay. Oh, some more seconds. The red wire is out there. And this time let's go very gentle. Let's uh, push and pull together to get the uh, LED as down as I can, as deep as I can, sorry. Now, let's bring the pipe. This time it will be very easy because <laughs> the diameter is uh, very, very, very large. 
compared to the dimension of the two wires obviously now once again the tweezer I think maybe not no no this time is not okay let's pull everything and let's uh, get both wires uh, through the holes in the base of the uh, street lamp I was just checking if the battery on the camera was still charged and that's all I think for this step yes both uh, wires are through the holes in the base and that's all for this step I'm not showing you the same process for the second street lamp it's uh, not the case right now uh, next step will concern the use of these uh, silver iridescent color applied to the inside of the cap why? simply because plain black is absorbing every light now if I want the light to be reflected towards the uh, ground to have a better illumination of the scene I need to paint the inside of the cap with this color obviously I would have preferred to have a chrome color but it doesn't exist an acrylic chrome color at least for the brand I'm using so um, the color that is uh, most similar to some uh, chrome and that will be the perfect uh, reflection color is this uh, plain uh, iridescent silver and I'm feeling it uh, plenty of it inside the cup excluding the part uh, the, the border where uh, I will uh, glue it uh, to the main structure uh, same thing with the uh, second cup here and that's a, a process very important for me it helps the light to be reflected towards the ground quickly and easily done next step let's uh, glue everything together once the color inside the uh, cap is dried obviously and <coughs> now let's place everything correctly for the last time pushing it yes there and I generally start from top to bottom to do everything Okay. Let's apply some glue. Uh, first, I always check the temperature of the glue if it is uh, fluid enough, of course. Don't be afraid to burn yourself. But the hot glue is very, very hot. And very dangerous. Much more than the soldering iron let's have a good amount of glue all around the perimeter of the top of the uh, street lamp let's uh, get it in place let's maintain it for some seconds <coughs> just remember that you have uh, the aluminium that will cool down very quickly the temperature of the glue checking it if it's hard enough not quite I was missing some glue there too small amount of glue first time let's go with some more amount of glue this time okay done this time the base just remember also that the glue 
the hot glue can melt also the plastic from uh, the uh, lamp itself or the, the pole itself so be careful when applying the hot glue there okay done I'm just uh, waiting for the glue to cool down uh, a little bit. Now the cap. Very delicate uh, process there. I just uh, uh, took the wrong uh, cap there. A very delicate process there because uh, I don't want the glue to mess with the LED uh, and so the lighting won't be uh, regular if I have some uh, glue uh, on the LED itself. So a very delicate uh, process and a very small amount only on the border, only on the edge of the uh, surface there. Now the cap, let's find the correct position and uh, let's apply the cap on top of everything let's push a little bit and let's wait the glue to cool down again don't be too maniac It's done, it's done, don't be afraid, it's done. Uh, let's complete the base with uh, the two uh, washers. Just remember, 3 cm or 1.18 inches in diameter. Glue, then second washer apply on top of the previous one. Let's wait for it. I'm using this blue ceramic support because otherwise if I mess with the glue it will uh, stick to the cutting mat but not onto the uh, ceramic uh, um, support there. A very good amount of uh, glue around the top of the uh, washer, not too close to the borders obviously. Then I just wait for the glue to cool down. Done. done and stable maybe a little more amount of glue yes told you you need some more glue now on uh, metals such as steel there and also on ceramic it is easily removable the hot glue that now is no more hot but is easy removable I'm just checking if it is perfectly vertical go ahead this time some more glue please let it cool down let it be so I will uh, skip ahead a few minutes uh, because the process is the same both uh, street lamps are uh, done, let's have a final check if everything is working correctly. Let's check, yes, this one is working uh, correctly. Yes, go ahead. Second one here, positive, negative and papa switch it on. Okay. Now 
the, this step is done also next step let's remove some excess of glue with my uh, cutter there be careful not to cut yourself I'm old enough to risk my life so don't worry for me even if uh, the blade is very dangerous okay so I am uh, removing the excess of glue from everywhere this is a very simple uh, step there I've just waited uh, the glue to be uh, perfectly hard again so I will uh, skip ahead this is very easy final step applying two layers of black paint the cap and then the rest I'm not showing you the entire process because it's simply a matter of painting I'm just using a very thin brush for the top for the cap and the surrounding simply because I don't want to a mess with the transparent uh, plastic then I will use a larger uh, brush for the pool and the base and that's all I think because I just realized that I haven't filmed the process of inserting the two wires into the T connector but it's very easy you just need to insert them in two holes and then press the T connector until you hear a click and that's all and it's finally time to end this uh, long uh, video after one hour and two minutes and I will spare you my usual outro uh, thank you for watching and see you next time if you wish as always